All right, um, I tore this little LCD panel out of a, um, uh, a device and I was thinking about it and I just wanted to mention a couple of things that people might not be aware of. Um, one is that there is a transparent conductor. Now you would think that conductors like, you know, copper and uh, silver, things like that, you know, those are metals and those are the ones that can conduct really, really well. Well, how do you make transparent copper? <laughs> um, so the front of this, if I press on it, you can start to see some of the enunciators and stuff. Uh, and um, these uh, have to do with a capacitance. There's some devices in there and there's basically a capacitor between a, a metal contact at the bottom and then a transparent conductor on the, tr on the top. And this transparent conductor on the top is the other side of the capacitor. And then you can put a field in that capacitor and you can rotate, uh, rotate molecules and get them to do polarization effects and things like that. And that's the way these things work. So I kind of wanted to talk about the uh, transparent conductor. How do, you, how do you make a transparent conductor? Well, it's called ITO. ITO. And that st stands for indium tin oxide. So there's indium atoms, tin atoms, and oxygen. And the way these are, it's mostly, it's about 82% indium oxide. And then every once in a while you'll replace one of the indium atoms with a tin atom. And the tin atom is metal. And that tin atom creates an, an additional electron and those additional electrons are the things that transport charge and current and stuff, and they are conductors. You need extra electrons. And the tin is the thing that added extra electrons. Now, if it was just tin, then you couldn't see through it, but this indium oxide is clear, and by just putting 8% of tin in there, it stays mostly transparent. It's a little bit yellowish. It's kind of hard to see here. It looks pretty good here, but it's a little bit yellowish. Um, so. Then the next thing is once you've invented transparent conductors, can you solder to them? Can you, you know, how do you get electrical contact on these things? And well, you can't solder to indium tin oxide. It just doesn't work. It won't stick. Okay. And so you have to find another way of connecting these transparent electrodes to a PC board. And the way you do, do that is with what this, what, this is, the, what this is right here. This is a um, elastomeric conductor, okay? And the way that this thing works is, um, I'll show you some, some uh, close-up photographs of this, but there is a, basically an edge connector along here. There's, there's a clear, <laughs> clear edge connector. It's imaginary, you have to, you have to trust me, but this is, uh, edge connector here, and you need to ha have this edge connector match an edge connector on the PC board, and you need to, you know, plug one into the other. And the way that you do that is with one of these. This goes on the PC board, and then the little um, LCD panel uses this thing right about here. And what it is, is a whole bunch of parallel conductors, okay? So if you have some type of uh, edge connector pattern here and some type of edge connector pattern here, then uh, every, every once in a while you'll get one of these parallel conductors be able to go top and bottom. They're insulated from one another. And so it's called, also called a zebra connector because it looks like zebra stripes. And so, yeah, let me, uh, let me go show you under the microscope. All right, just a quick little video about zebra connectors, elast elastomeric connectors. Um, and these are just made of uh, carbon. The, the little stripes of conduction are just uh, uh, de little, de like little resistors. They're, they're carbon filled. I don't know exactly what the, uh, what the resistance of this thing is. Let's, uh, let's see if we can measure it. Okay, I'm gonna put an ohm meter from, from side to side. And there we go, 10K. 
it's not, yeah, seven, eight, yeah, three, three K, something like that. And so um, the indentum oxide is actually quite conductive. It's like, I don't know, 70, 80% conductive. It, it, it's good stuff. And uh, the uh, weak link here is this, um, is this carbon filled uh, uh, zebra connector, but it doesn't really matter. Very, very low currents are, are used to drive LCDs. And so having an extra resistance in there doesn't, doesn't matter at all. Um, yeah. Anyway, quick little video for the day.